good idea. Showing yourself which notes to play, when to play them, and how loud to play them. Bad idea. Taking only two out of the 88 notes, both of which are random and neither of which are any sort of recognizable landmarks. Going against the advice of the majority by naming these fixed pitches variable names so that the entire discipline will have to count on variables. Then scoffing the advice of the majority by changing these variable names to look extra fancy before plotting these references along an axis which is neither built to scale in its most common interval so that neither physical distances on a keyboard nor RL ranges for everybody else can ever be visually implied, nor continuous so that every time either range changes these extra fancy looking but random references get reassigned, making your references in fact variable variables which are only referenced by page cluttering packs of lines which are so compact that they not only filter out half the notes so that they always have to hand you back the filters, but are the cause of the soon to be experienced blowback of its self inflicted bruising, swelling, and bleeding onto a different axis, which is not under consideration as long as these notes are being related to these variable variables, which, since half the notes have been filtered out, is only accomplished so indirectly that the first musical concepts a student has to learn are a couple flailingly stupid gimmicks, which altogether only account for 39% of the total range, the rest of which is made up by lending these packs of lines some real estate which has no recognizable landmarks whatsoever, and which also frequently gets reassigned so that just like distances, direction can't be visually implied anywhere either, and which, when translated correctly, only finishes revealing that not only are all the common members of identical pitch classes always entirely unique, no matter how far out you go, but that the entire axis is not ever actually to scale anywhere, thus failing to represent any single instrument anywhere in the world, before being permanently twisted so that even its conceptualization is only good on the accordion, thus ensuring that the time flow on the page is broken exactly as often as possible, and that in addition to the page cluttering packs of lines, scattered filters, and swarms of variables found in real-world examples, using these bar lines, which never indicate any beats, but instead divide the strongest beats from their weaker predecessors so that this space between the bar and its first beat is actually a metrically non-existent gap, thus causing any attempt to synchronize this unregulated time axis with physical time to manifest either distracting metric bleedovers or a screen that jumps at every single measure. That is, until it's time to reset your focus on the next page, then complementing this broken time axis with both the irregularity of the time axis itself due to the self-inflicted bruising, swelling, and bleeding, and by the subdivision of the remaining beats only by use of these abstract rhythmic conventions which are all drawn back along the pitch axis for whatever reason, except, of course, for the ones which indicate silence, all the while leaving plenty of room to try to silently describe all possible mechanical dynamics through letters and hairpins, complemented by any helpful cues you might take from reading in a foreign language, far away from all these notes, if anything's written there at all, and as long as it's not simply indicating when it's time to scan through all the pages for the next symbol to refocus on so that once there the music can resume as this translation continues, topping itself off with more abstractions for articulation, and on the keyboard, never more than numbers for sometimes even impossible fingerings. The end.